In a backstreet boatyard, they're repairing old gondolas before the summer season. But how do you fix what's broken in an economy without destroying what you already have? So far, says Fabrizio Barca, one of Mr. Monti's technocrat ministers, most people are prepared to give the government the benefit of the doubt. It has been clear to the people that privileges have been attacked. Even the reform of the pension system, which has lengthened the working life of about five years, everybody has known that everybody else was being treated in the same way. The Prime Minister has stressed very often the fact that we are causing troubles to all. But as Venice and its long history will testify, change comes slowly. The government of technocrats won't be in office all that long. Party politics is still waiting in the wings. And Italy's problems will take years to resolve. Chris Morris on a gondola in Venice. Uh, Clive, Ms. Ree, what do you make of the austerity measures we're seeing introduced in a country like Italy? Well, I think uh, it's actually... A It's preemptively before it's too late. Um, and I think that's po possibly a mature thing to do and one of the things that Berlusconi was never going to do. Hmm. We ain't seen nothing yet, have we, when it comes no. to these sort of cuts? But I I'm always fascinated by figures. Is £600 million to do barriers in Venice, is that a lot of money or is that not very much money? Well, the figures are so beyond understanding by ordinary people. You know. Well, if you, if you compare that, if you just take the figure of the Greek uh, bailout, which is £150 billion, yeah. that will give you some kind of so 600 million is neither here nor there we, it's hardly worth hardly worth <laughs> noting down okay uh, Nisreen Malik from the who works in the city of London says 600 million <laughs> loose change <laughs> uh, Nisreen is with us Clive Anderson a broadcaster in the UK with me as well it's the world today from the BBC World Service and the new summary is coming up for you